Traditionally, the Soviet Air Force depended heavily on ground intercept control stations. The Air Defense Force has the same dependence on ground control. The ground stations transmit guidance commands directly to the onboard systems of the interceptor, steering it into position to lock its radar onto the target. The terrain of the former Soviet Union occupies one-sixth of all the land on the planet Earth. It extends over 11 time zones from east to west. It runs from the cold of the Arctic Ocean in the north to the hottest deserts of Central Asia. It is a vast area to defend. In the Air Force, tactical aviation or frontal aviation, as it has been called since the Great Patriotic War, is organized into air armies assigned to specific military districts. The Air Force of the Moscow Military District alone is responsible for an area that runs 600 miles from the border of Belarusia in the west to the Ural Mountains in the east. Through the 1970s and into the 80s, the MiG-23 was the workhorse of Soviet military aviation, on standby to respond instantly for the Air Force and the Air Defense Force. 